It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Camden Town Brewery and it's a can of their Inner City Green Lager coming in at 3.9% ABV. Looks really good. Pick this up in my local supermarket, 330 can. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh. Bit of a spill going on. Right. Get it back up to the camera. It's been in my fridge for a few days. Uh, and well, you can see by the head, it's, it's quite lively. It's been in my fridge for a few days. I just grabbed it from the fridge, walked it to here, opened it and bang, it went a bit wild. Just proves this still, even though it's owned by a massive, massive company now, Camden Town. I suppose it just proves that they're still brewing in a craft way where you don't really know what's going to happen, what it's going to smell like, what it's going to taste like, how it's going to open. Uh, we got a three finger white head, hazy, light, pills coloured beer, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. Let's get the aroma. It smells nice and hoppy, fair play. Uh, it's been brewed with Pearl, Galaxy, Nelson Sovin and Amarillo. 3.9% ABV. It should be a really thirst quenching juicy lager. You get grapefruit, mango, fleshy blood orange. A very impressive nose on the beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, that is an absolutely superb lager. My type of lager. My type of, yeah, definitely a lager. I was just about, I was just about to say ale, just about. And then after all the hops faded back and carbonation stopped pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. And I had that, that flavor of the hop just died away. It then very much became a lager. All books said ale, but it very much became a lager. It's just that lovely, crisp, dry, flavour you get from the lager. I'll get to that now. I always pick up a lager as a slightly, slightly biscuity, very dry, carbonated with a bit of lemon flavour on the back end. And yeah, you definitely get all of them flavours and feelings and, and, and it's a very much a sense that it's a lager. It is very much a lager. But at the beginning, it's all about, that's why I give that kind of great big stone the crows. It is fantastically refreshing. A fantastically refreshing beer with, with, with carbonation that pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. The flavor is terrific. The grapefruit, the mango, the citrus, the, the orange peel, the fleshy blood orange. Lots of hoppy flavors coming through on this beer then. And altogether, it's just very, very impressive. This was discounted in my local supermarket. I'm trying to think of the great big brewery that owns this company now. Might be Miller, might be Imbev. Might be Cause, I don't know, I can't quite remember. One of the big, massive companies anyway. And, okay, so I, I picked it up. I, I liked the look of the can. I liked the price. It was discounted. Uh, why wouldn't you like a discounted price? And I come into the beer review not really expecting much. I knew it was owned by a huge brewery. But then again, I know Camden Town used to make some fantastic beers. And I've had beers since they become since they got took over by that big company. And they still tasted the same to me. Really good quality beers. So, but, I mean, I, I have to say, uh, knowing who owns a brewery, knowing the reduced price, I went into the beer review, just let's crack it open, let's see what we get. It was a little disappointed with it bursting everywhere, but 
Maybe that's why it's discounted, I don't know. But the flavour is, for a lager, it's just out of this world. It's an out of this world taste sensation for this lager. Really, really, you can really get your gums around it. You can really get that kind of drinkability, that juiciness of the beer, the, the, the refreshingness of the beer. And at 3.9% ABV, pff, blow me, I could drink eight cans of this. Easy, easy, easy. Let's rate it. Camden Town Brewery, Inner City Green Lager, 330 can, 3.9% ABV. I think I paid £1.25 for this. For that price, for that, for that lovely, lovely tasting beer, I'm going to give it a Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.